Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up your ThingLink images for collaborative use. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm signed into my account. I'm in my teacher account. And I'm going to click the Create button. Now let's go ahead and upload an image. This is just like any other ThingLink project. I'm going to use this image of the Iceland Air map. And we'll just title this Iceland Air Destinations. Now let's go down to our sharing settings. And currently I have this set as public. You can also make it unlisted. And I can say allow anyone to edit, which will allow others to add and modify the tags on the ThingLink image. Now, in a ThingLink classroom account, you can share this to just your students so that your students have access to collaborate on the image. Let's go ahead and close that. And if you haven't used ThingLink before, the way to add an interactive marker to it is let's say I want to add one up here. I'll just click on the image once. I can add a link to a video, to an image that's hosted online, a link to information about that part of Iceland, or I can simply write in some text. I can say, I went skiing here last year. We sailed on a boat around the fjords. And we can change our tags so that they stand out a little bit better. Uh, perhaps I want to add in a uh, you know, a big red dot as opposed to a as opposed to the blunt the black or blue one that might have blended in. And now let's just save that tag and save the image. And again we can look at our sharing settings. We can share the image. We can embed it into a classroom blog or website. And because in that previous screen I allowed uh, others to add tags when I embed this into my classroom blog, my students can simply go to the image on the classroom blog and they can add their own tags to the image. So that's how you can use ThingLink to create a collaborative interactive image. For more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.